Welcome to our video. This is uh, me and Leo's video on Wario. So now we're going to talk about the character. And uh, this is so just like boring. I. It was supposed to be, what's up, everybody? Welcome to, next, to the new video on Wario. No, but he goes, why? So you have to say, why, as one of the syllables. You're so uh, stupid. You're an idiot. Shut up! Wario! Anyway, this character is just uh, just that Leo's ally. Uh, we all know Leo only nares, and this is Wario he doesn't nair in, in, in this attack here. So all you do, all you do with Wario is nair. It's a frame four nair. It's really good. Just block anything. Just run shield and then just nair. Make sure you dodge though. Wait, dodge. Wait. Wait, we both we still have suck. Like I don't uh, know why you choose the stage. <laughs> it's Wario stage. <laughs> Wario it, 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 it fits. It fits the stage. Anyway, oh, dang. Dude. You're throwing Pokemon at me. Look, you complained about the item. I don't know. That's a freaking. Well, I don't know who that Pokemon is. It's Pikachu. Okay, okay with Wario, what's something really good of him is uh, his his main combos come from the Nair. So you could run Shield and then double Nair somebody, and then you could do up airs and up airs and up airs and up tilts. So basically. <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> Alright guys, so this, is our, so, so this is our warrior guide, and warrior basically is no different than Ike, and no different than how Leo plays, you just run and shield, and then you just do the nair, and you get a big combo, look, I get all this reward just because I got a nair. So basically his combo is you literally just nair, and then you try to get an up air, and the up totes and up airs and all that stuff. And, Ultra and Oh yeah, and then you just, you land on the platform, and then you, you can actually just press C-stick again to up tilt again. And then you do those combos. Also from you like, don't press the C stick, you move the C stick. Well, you can up air to up to up A or up air to hold C stick up, and they both do up to. But yeah, you basically the basic idea is you do nares and then you do up airs, and then some uh, and then use platforms appropriately like up tilts and then up air up tilts. You can also do like back airs and then it's taken place or miss tech on the platform and you hit them again. But that's, that's the basic idea of Wario. And then you can also do like run shield fair to shield, which knocks people over. Uh, landing fair combos and like dash attack at low percent. Uh, otherwise, you can just run shield, fair to shield, which is really fast, and then you get like a tech chase. You can do like dash attack if they attack in place, or like up tilt, up tilt waft if they attack in. And, you, and at kill percent, you can also do like like this combo. Um, you just down down tilt and then run C stick forward and then instant dash attacks on frame two of your dash. Um, so this character is really big on that stuff, and also, so a lot of the time you like you want to shield his aerials because you know he's, he's all about the aerials. His aerials is pretty much his best stuff. His smash attacks kind of suck, for example. So since you know that, what Wario can do as a mix-up is an air grab. You can do the bite. You just press B, and then you do the bite, and it does a lot of damage. From the edge, you can kill around like 140. You can just do this, and then cover everything except uh, invincible get-up attack and ledge roll. But most people don't do those two options anyway. So after like 140, you can just do that and kill with the with the bite. So a lot of his gameplay is literally just aerials. And oh, and the, there's the waft from here. You could, uh, after about, uh, I think it's 107 seconds, he gets a fully charged fart. And after you do from up tilt or landing up air, they both can combo into the waft. You can kill people as early as starting from like, if they're at 30, you can do this into the waft and kill them at 30% from the edge. It's, it's extremely strong. Let me try. Yep. It's extremely strong. Um, usually when war, you're at like 110, warriors try to like down tilt into, into the dash attack. That's, this, is how they, this is how they kill it. So let's keep doing this and then you hit it and just get a dash attack after it. Pretty good. Oh, and F tilt. It's really good if you catch a ledge jump. See, as predicted, ledge jump. You get it there. This could also be used for two framing. It's a, it's a guess though. But yeah, I see F tilt used a lot for that. You're probably gonna F tilt more for kills than you are gonna do all these three combined because the smash attacks, to be frank, they kind of suck. Um, so he's all about the aerials, the bite, and the, the and the tilts like up tilt to, to combo or fart, down tilt to dash attack, or F tilt. His tilts are pretty good. Smash attacks is probably the one thing he has the weakest and everything. Uh, the bike doesn't respawn as fast as in other games. Like you can do the bike, you can jump off it. You can go under stages. On stages like Town City, you can like go for like. Um, so uh, on stages like uh, Town City, you could uh, go. I need this destroyed. Destroy it. All right. On stages like Town City, you can take me. You can uh, go low, and if you miss, you just wait. That that's okay. Since you can fly under town, uh, you do this. 
and then you can recover under, but I'm on big battlefield, so I didn't make it. But on town city, you can just make that. You just uh, do a late downer, and then do the bike double jump, and then recover with up beyond the stage. But a stage like Pokemon Stadium, you can't do that, because there's a big wall, uh, wall thing at the bottom of the stage. You can't actually go under it. So the stage actually affects Wario. Certain stages, like y the Yoshi Island Brawl stage, Smashville, are really good platform layouts for him. Wow, that's a good platform layout in Town City. Those four stages, according to what I've talked to of people like Gluttony and Mango, for example, they say that it has those have good platform layouts because when you do the full hop up air, you can land into an up tilt and extend your combo tree. So those stages, those platforms are really good. So you get in there, uh, and then you do the up tilts and up airs and land on the platform. The up air has little anyway, and also auto cancels very quickly. Talk about the bite. So his bite is really strong. It uh. It's, it's pretty strong. It can kill at 140 at the edge. It's more like this. Why are you wearing a poo-poo hat? Dude, he spams. That's all he spams on, on Facebook. He just spams the poo-poo. He loves the poo-poo smiley. He loves the poo-poo smile. I don't know why he loves the poo-poo. All right, his neutral game is you be boring. And just don't, you don't really have to. You, you can just run shield a lot. And just be super <laughs> boring. Why? Because you get reward for being boring. You get a nice juicy fart for being boring. Who doesn't want to get a nice juicy fart for being boring? And you could just kill sooner. They have to approach you. You know why? Because you get a nice juicy fart for being boring. <laughs> just wait around a lot. Bored them to death. Run shield. They touch your shield. Guess what? You get an air fairy shield most of the time. Cool. Oh, and you can also just jump above an air and just hope it hits. And oh, cool. Now you get a bunch of up airs, up tilts, and stuff over and over. Strange weaknesses. I think one of the weaknesses are like. She's like any other Mario character. She's always gonna lose to like the main range character, like characters that have like way more range than him. Like it's not like any other Mario character that can't do anything. You can just react like a fair out of shield, near out of shield, and like since fireman characters are like super big, so they can just get combo like super easily, and they also can't get out of their combos. So uh, it's like really hard because like that's actually one of the of, like his weaknesses, but like. So at the same time, it's strange because, like, even if even if they hit your shield, you can still be able to like do something to them. out of shield nair, out of shield fair, and like they like those moves put the uh, fire emblem character in a bad situation. I think one of his weaknesses is that uh, on besides range, of course, um, which you can make up for by just moving around the air slightly with air drift, kind of like puff and melee, or just running and shooting because it's super strong. You fast out of shield. Is that uh, after he gets on the bike? It's kind of like a, if you're super close, you can have a guaranteed hit off him. But if you're not super close, you kind of have like a 50-50 on if he's going to jump off the bike immediately and then you swing for that position. Or if you predict he's going to stay on the bike longer and you just hit 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 him assuming he won't jump. I mean, his recovery isn't that good. I mean, he has the bike and like he can recover from like super like super far, far from the stage. But like once like if the bike's on the stage and you get Wario off oh, stage, yeah, that's a big he's just like gonna die. He can't do anything. Cause like he lost momentum because like he doesn't have the bike, and like his OB is strong and he and he he goes like a far distance. Like he's not a very good OB, so he's just gonna he's just gonna die. Now we're gonna rank in Wario's attributes. First stop is gonna be combos. I think his combos are like an S, cause he can just kill you. At like lower percents, higher percents, no matter what, he, he just need to get the combo and you're gonna die. Like he can just kill you from zero to like 80, 60, and like even if you're like a bad warrior, you can still get like 50%. Yeah, I actually think warrior's combos are an S because Gluttony specifically told me that if you hit a landing nair in the center of like Yoshi Brawl stage, for example, and you do a, a very specific combo, you can actually do a true zero to death combo. So. The fact that he can zero to death combo you, um, kind of like, like peach and peach you, like, that's, no uh, that. that's crazy. And even if you don't get the zero death, I mean, you're going to be close to dead anyway. Yeah, so. you're going to get like 80%. Also, he's really good at like, we're talking about Nair and Opera, but he also has up tilt that just gives you like the same combo. Like, he can just up tilt to and waft, waft yeah. up tilt into Opera, up tilt into whatever he wants. So he's like, every single move he has, he's just gonna connect to a, to a down B. Now Edge Guarding. I think Edge Guarding for Wario is like, really good at some moments. Cause like, when he, like he can just go under the stage with a down air or an air. Like he can just recover with the side B, that's without a problem. But like, what what if he gets hit when he's recovering with the side B? He doesn't have any jump and like, 
That's stage based. He, if you can, yeah, that's like stage based. If it, like, a lot of stages, if you can go under it, you just get you, away for free. That's why you say it depends. Yeah, so, uh, if you can go under the stage, it's required. But I think it was, I will say Anis. Because, like, even if you don't have the bike, even if you can do, like, down air or, or near or whatever, you can also do back if you're strong. In case you have the downbeat, you can just go off stage and trade whatever recovery with the downbeat, and they are just gonna die in, immediately after that. Okay, for neutral game, I think it's an S plus or S, just because he can literally, like, even if he's losing to the sword, he can just shield, nair out of shield, fair out of shield. He's also really good because, like, even if you're camping warrior, he can just do, like, a random bike and he's still gonna hit you, you're gonna get, like, 18 damage or something. And the more you wait for Wario, the more stronger it's gonna get. He, he's basically gonna turn into a way better character the more you wait for Wario. That's why he forced you to approach the Wario. Yeah, I think his neutral zest because it, he gets a fart just for camping. And if both players want to camp, then he becomes a better character. And that person approaching technically is at a disadvantage. So just the fact that that exists in the first place makes his neutral better. Also run shield for fast out of shield and Judy puff esque air drift as uh, Micro spacing, that also an air grab, which is uh, in the form of bite, just makes his neutral pretty strong. The only thing he lacks is range. Kill power, obviously, I think his best moves is down B. Back air is also really strong. Upper doesn't kill you at like super high percents. Down air is actually really, really strong. It doesn't look like so strong. And fair doesn't do like any knockbacks, so it's like the weaker move. Well, he literally can kill you whatever he wants. He has like the confirmed down to dash that he kills you like 120 or maybe 100 if case he has rage. Back here is gonna do the same thing. If he hits you off stage, gonna be you're gonna die super early. Yeah, I'd say if you get, if you land farts, it's an S. Uh, if you don't land farts, it's an A. Because there's a lot of moves that are strong and just kill you. Like almost all his moves will just kill you. But uh, the fart is the one who specifically kills extremely early, and you can actually true combo into it. Movement. I think his NS also, his movement is like ridiculously good. His air drive is like amazing. It's always been like that since, since Smash Brawl. So uh, I don't know, I don't know any, I like a lot more about Warrior, but I just know he's an A. He can literally do whatever he wants. And whenever he's in the air, it's like super hard to get Wario. He can also hit you really well. He can just get out of combos because his movement is like really good. And actually, his grounded movement is not, it's not bad at all. I'd say his ground movement's a B and his air movement's an S because he has really good air drift and that's like one of the main things he's useful for. But since his running speed and dashes are just okay, that's why I'd say his ground is like B or high B and his air, air movement's an S, I think. Overall, I'd say Warrior is a contender for top five in a game. Um, if Me he's, too. He's around like the bottom of top five probably. Or, he's, or maybe easy top 10, free. Yeah, he's definitely in the top five, in my opinion. He can do whatever he wants. He got a good combo game, he got a good recovery. He got like good kill power, good edge guarding, good combos, good neutral game. So he literally has everything. You just need to like, get used to how to fight versus mid range characters. Like predator characters, stormman characters. Once you get those matchups and once you know how to counter it, it's just really hard. Like I already told you, Warriors, the, the only character that can get better, the more you play neutral. Thanks for watching our video, guys. If you want more content, please subscribe to the Echo Fox channel and make sure you hit the bell. I'll leave a comment below if you agree or disagree with us or whatever. And uh, thanks for watching. Wah, wah, wah. What do you think about my hat, Jason? I look cute, right? It's stupid and you're stupid. <laughs>